dolls so today I have something kind of exciting to talk to you all about this perfume company reached out to me and wanted to work together and I thought this would be kind of a fun little video concept so basically this company called dossier make their own versions of high-end perfumes they have no attachment to these high-end brands at all whatsoever but they just make more affordable versions of high-end brands of perfume that you know and love so today I have three perfumes that we're gonna go through and smell and do first impressions of and because these are more affordable versions of the high-end perfumes I went ahead and got on eBay and purchased little sample sizes of the actual high-end perfumes so that I could truly give you a comparison of each of the scents and let you know if it's very similar if it's a dupe if it's not at all like it etc so before I get into the smell test I will leave the link to dossier down below as well as a coupon code if I have one and basically how this works is you can pick out your scents that you want to try and you will only be charged shipping to start out with however if you order three or more scents shipping is free so basically your perfume comes like this it comes with the little card on here which I will get more into this in a little bit but it also comes with the 50 milliliter bottle as well as a little sample bottle so basically what you do is you open this up you open the little sample bottle this is yours to keep you can smell it you can see if you like it if you don't like it you can just package this guy back up and returns are completely free and you can just send it right back to the company keeping the little sample bottle and like I said all you would have to do is pay for shipping unless you order three or more perfumes then shipping is free Free. but if you fall in love with the perfume after smelling the little sample then by all means crack this baby open and use it then you will be charged the $29 for the perfume and honestly this is such a good deal because $29 for a perfume is insanely good considering these high-end brands they put a lot of effort into their packaging which makes the prices go higher skyrockets the prices just for packaging and these perfumes as you can see are just in very basic packaging you're not paying for all of the packaging on the outside it's more basic more simple and so you're not overpaying just to get a pretty bottle or something like that which is great also I wanted to mention two things about the packaging number one is that the packaging itself for when you receive the perfume bottles there's no crazy bubble wrap or extra paper or anything you literally just get them in these cardboard boxes which is amazing because these can easily be recycled which I love you don't have all this bubble wrap hanging around your house everywhere and it's not a nuisance and the bottle still comes very protective in this little box with the bottle itself the cap is magnetic so you can literally just drop it on top and it just falls right into place and it's magnetic like it's on there it's not coming off I find that when I'm using high-end perfumes like they're so intricate and detailed that I'll often like accidentally flip the cap off and I'll misplace it it'll roll under my bed or something and I won't be able to find it or I struggle to like put it back on right sometimes but with this it's literally so simple so easy and I just I'm in love with this I'm already like hands down so excited to try all these it also tells you on the bottle itself what the top notes middle notes and base notes are for each of the perfumes and then it tells you the name on it as well and the thing that I love about dossier is they are cruelty free so you have brands like Chanel Lancome etc that are not cruelty free so if you're someone who only supports cruelty free brands this is an amazing alternative because you can get the high-end luxury scents or similar scents to the high-end luxury ones for like a third of the price and you're not hurting any animals in the process so it just makes it that much better so I am someone who is more into florally sweet scents if you're someone who is more into the musky like sandalwood scents they also have those options for you but you'll kind of see a pattern in this video right here I do have mostly floral <laughs> scents because those are what I tend to gravitate towards the most so without further ado let's get on into the first scent 
This is the Oriental Floral One. That is the name of it. And it is inspired by Lancome's La Vie Est Belle. Am I saying that right? L La Vie Est Belle. Like, I, I don't know how to pronounce this exactly, so please correct me in the comments down below if I'm pronouncing this wrong. But it says, top notes are orange blossom, middle notes jasmine, hazelnut, and iris, and base notes are patchouli and garmand accord, or gourmand accord. So this is supposed to smell like Lancome's La Vie Est Belle, and I actually got a little sample of that right here. Because I have never smelt this in person before, so I wanted to get both of them so I could do a true comparison for you guys. So, first and foremost, let's smell the Lancome one. Okay. That one, I think it's the patchouli that has like, kind of, it's, it's a very subtle musky, but it's a, a bit more strong, a bit more formal, which is nice. Now testing the dossier version. This actually comes in a roller ball. And what's awesome is with these big perfumes, since they are not high end, they may not last as long as the high end perfumes. They last quite a while is what I've heard. But just in case they don't last as long, you can pop one of these roller balls in your purse for touch ups on the go, which is amazing. So here we go. Wow. Hold on, what? Wow. Okay, so definitely the Lancome one is a bit stronger, which is what I expected. But dang, those are really similar. Wow. That's amazing. They're, they're similar. It's not the exact same scent, but they are very similar. So this video is obviously getting off to a great start. I am so excited about this. Again, that is Oriental Floral One compared to inspired by Lancome's La Vie Est Belle. Now, the next one that we have is inspired by Gucci's Bloom, and this is called Floral Two. And it says, um, it says top notes Ragoon Creeper, middle notes Jasmine Sambac, and Tuberose, and base notes is Iris. So. This one is like Gucci's Bloom. So let's smell Gucci Bloom first. This is my first time ever smelling this, so hopefully it's good. Okay. Wow, I was not expecting that. This one is a very fresh smelling scent. It's not so florally. I was expecting this to be a, a bit more florally because it's called Bloom. But it honestly smells like a bit like Oh, it smells a little florally. Floral and like, if you, it smells fresh. Like you just hopped out of the shower fresh. And I like that. It's very light and kind of a refreshing scent. Whereas the other one, uh, it was more of a deep, you know, it had that oriental base to it. So it was a bit more like musky or deep and like sultry. This one's a bit more fresh and like froofy, I guess you could say. So now let's smell floral too from Dossier. I'm just gonna roll this on my arm over here. <laughs> I'm gonna be smelling all kinds of good after this video. Okay. Kind of air that out a little bit, let it breathe. Oh my gosh. What? They smell so similar again. What the heck? Again, the Gucci is a little bit more potent, a little bit stronger but they smell very, very similar. So yeah, this is like a dupe. Wow, that is amazing. I am like blown away right now. This is so cool. This one is Floral 3. The one we just tried was Floral 2. This one's Floral 3. And this one is inspired by the ever so popular Chanel number no. 5. And so I had to get this one to try because this is a classic scent right here. I've actually never purchased this perfume, but I've seen it advertised all over the place for many, many years. So uh, we're just going to do this one on my, on my upper arm right here. Yep. Okay. Classic Chanel number no. five. Definitely like a, uh, 
I don't know, this one smells different than the other ones. This one smells kind of clean too. It's kind of a mix between the two first ones that we tried. Like it's very sultry, but still fresh at the same time. So there's that one. And now we are gonna try the Floral 3. And I'm just gonna put this one on my other bicep over here because I ain't got no more skin space. <laughs> okay, this one is the one that does not smell as much like it as the other two did, as much as they're like inspired by high-end sisters. <laughs> um, oh, wait, wait, what? Okay, it takes a second for the scent to kind of like show through. So you have to kind of like air it out a little bit first, let it kind of breathe before you start smelling it. I look like I'm just smelling my armpits now. Like, <laughs> So there's Chanel. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, now they smell similar. Okay, this is insane. At first, like when I first spray them or roll them on, they don't smell so similar, but the more they sit, the more identical they start smelling. And that could just be I'm smelling like one right after the other. That could have a lot to do with it, honestly, but... From what I can smell, these are super, super similar to one another. So again, if you love smelling good and you wear perfume all the time and you often find yourself paying a quite a little bit more than expected for high-end perfumes or high-end scents, this is a great alternative. And like I said, it is cruelty-free, so that is amazing. Again, it's also super amazing of them and generous of them to... As mentioned, they include the little sample perfume so that you can try it first. And then if you like it, you can pay for the big one, which is amazing because you know, you go into Sephora or Ulta and you can smell all the perfumes there before you buy them. Why wouldn't she be able to do that for these? And that is so cool that even though it's a website that sends you the product, you're still able to sample it before you commit to buying it, which is so cool. I am hands down, I'm amazed by dossier. I am so happy they reached out to me. I wish you guys could have like smell a vision and like smell everything that I'm smelling, but you'll just have to try it out for yourself. I mean, at $29 a bottle, it's totally worth it because these things, these things are so big, you know, perfumes like this that are high end, like if you were to pay for like a Chanel number no. five this size, it would be an ungodly price compared to $29. So definitely look into Dossier. I will link it below. Like I said, if I do have a coupon code, I will leave it down there as well. Out of all of them, my personal favorite is the Oriental Floral One that is inspired by Lancome's La Vie S. Bell. <laughs> Again, I am probably completely butchering that name, but that is my favorite one. And I will leave the direct links to all three of the perfumes that I tried in this video from Dossier. Go check them out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you've ever tried any perfumes from them before and what you feel about them and what your favorites are, definitely share all your opinions and comments down below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true and be you. All right. Bye. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay. Bye. <laughs>